After years of searching, I have finally found the original release version build of Skyrim. This is Todd Howard's perfect, uncompromised vision of the game. And of course, it's going to be perfectly balanced with no exploits, glitches, or bugs. Now, Todd has personally told me there is nothing wrong or imbalanced with Skyrim. After all, it just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. And I trust him because he has never lied. I'm so confident of this fact that if I even run into a single exploit bug or glitch, I will lower my character's maximum HP by five. Meaning if we run into a bunch of them, the game is going to become impossible. The goal of today's video is simple, beat Skyrim, and of course, enjoy a bug-free gaming experience because I'm sure this will be a polished masterpiece. Before we begin, I want you to go into the comment section and predict how many of these features we encounter today. Of course, the number's going to be zero because this is a perfect game. Right, now that we're all sat comfortable, let's begin a brand new adventure in Skyrim. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It has been so long since I've played the release build of Skyrim. Literally 11 years. And here we are. Bethesda Game Studios presents. Oh gosh, it's, it's the game we all know and love. Oh, what does it present, Todd? What are you presenting me with? Skyrim. Glorious, glorious Skyrim. Oh, it's here. And it's beautiful. Look at this. Oh, it's just oh oh oh, oh whoop, Todd Todd. Okay, settle down, Todd. Settle down. Okay. Um, I guess uh. I would say that is a bit of a bug, but as the game hasn't technically started yet, I'm not going to add that to the list. That's Todd's opening act. It's a bit of pizzazz, okay? Also, I haven't even made a character yet, so I have no idea how that would work. But anyway, we're in the game. It's wonderful. Look at those. Look at that wildlife. Oh, <laughs> not get too close. Please, little carriage man. Yes, I was trying to cross the border. I did walk into that Imperial ambush, yes. Right, here we go. Oh, look here of Rorik's dead. You're beautiful. I can tell you, back in 2011, this was insane. Insane. Imagine walking through here, seeing that mountain and being like, okay, okay. But seeing that mountain and going, yeah, I'm going to go to that mountain. It's crazy. It's wonderful. What an experience this is going to be. But yes, as I said, this is the release build of the game, meaning this is the uncompromised vision of Todd Howard. No one else has come in here, tried to patch it with their nonsense. No, this is the perfect game, played exactly the way it was intended. Anyway, we are just stuttering our way over into Helgen. This is wonderful. How very exciting this is going to be. Oh yes, look at all these guards of Helgen, wonderful. Ah, uh, there's General Talius. Oh, it's so exciting. Now, of course, if we encounter bugs and glitches, this game is going to get progressively more and more hard and potentially become outright impossible because I might have to set my maximum HP to zero, meaning I just die instantly. But provided we don't run into too many bugs or glitches, we should be able to beat the game. Whoop, oh, calm down, horsey, calm down. It's all intended, don't worry. All right, let's go and make ourselves a character. Now, now today I'm going to be playing Skyrim in the most Skyrim way possible, meaning of course we have to play a Barbarian Nord. Okay, Raylof, go on, give it, give it a run. Give it a run, Loki. Come on, you can do this. Yes, Loki, I believe in you. He actually might be able to make it because, you know, this is the OG version of the game. We'll see. Okay, nope. He died. And actually, that was fine. Okay, right, we're next. Let's make our character. Right, let's go for the classic default Nord. The most basic Nord imaginable. He's going to be Nord Nordinson. The most naughty Nord who ever lived. A true son of Skyrim. I know I did Hadvar. Right, over to the headsman block we go. It's time to get a head lobbed off and saved by a dragon. Right, one Stormcloak man is uh, going up to sacrifice himself. Meanwhile, this Stormcloak man just can't stop smiling. I mean, I don't know what's funny about having your best friend be executed in front of you, but um, yeah, <laughs> what can I say? 2011. This dude on the far left gets it. That's the expression I'd have when someone had their head lobbed off. Anyway, he is dead. Right, next up is me in the rags. Wonderful. All right, come on up we go. Time to get my head lobbed off. Hello, everyone. Goodbye, world. I mean, hopefully the game doesn't actually glitch and the dragon doesn't spawn in and the executioner does actually lob off my head. That'd be most embarrassing. Anyway, here's Alduin. Yay! He's come to save me. It's not in the clouds. It's on the tower, my friend. Jeez. Anyway, hello, lovely dragon. Oh, nice little grumpy scream. Right, well, um, it's time for me to flee. I'm the game crashed. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> well, that's glitch number one. That's five HP loss. Right, well, I've got some news. Apparently, there was an autosave after the character creator, so we don't have to go through all of that again. Uh, but yes, I will have to now lower my HP by five because I've made my character. That was definitely an unintended Todd feature, but I'm sure that was just a rare one. Uh, this is, of course, the most polished game of the year, so um, should be fine. All right, here we go. Aldrin is coming back again. Hopefully, this time, he's not coming back to crash my game. Um, so I'll drop down another quick save, just in case. Ah, oh, it happens again. <laughs> Damn it. All right, let's go again. All right, okay, I'm back and oh, it's crashed again. All right, okay, um, god damn Alduin. All right, I'm back for another attempt. Here we go. We're loading in slightly earlier. Um, you might notice everything looks worse. That's because I've lowered the settings of the graphics, not only for a more, you know, release window, actually accurate Skyrim, but also because apparently it makes the game run better. Um, it certainly makes everyone look a lot uglier. All right, well, let's see how this is gonna go. Okay, that horse is now just levitating. Well, that's fine. That's a nice feature. Honestly, this is pretty accurate to how I first played Skyrim. It was definitely with this level of graphics qualities because uh, my computer in 2011 was uh, was not good. So this is effectively like my release window experience. All right. Come on, Skyrim, don't crash this time. I believe in you, Todd. Those were just hiccups. Tiny, tiny, unexpected hiccups. All right, here comes the dragon. I can definitely hear some clipping. I'm not too sure what that clipping is. I think it's the body that I'm standing on. All right, anyway, hey, Alduin, please shout in a way that doesn't crash the game. Okay, that's a nice start. That's a nice start. Okay, we're off to a cracking start, and we're away. We're away, Todd. The game hasn't crashed. Right, let's get up. Oh my goodness, come on. Let's go, Rayloff. Okay, first things first, let's drop down a save and run. Into the keep we go. Flee! Flee! We're in. Oh my goodness, we made it. Oh. Hey, y'all. That was crazy. All right, off on our journey we go. Let's let's try and escape. Right, up we go. Come on, move that. No! Stormcloak soldier. Oh, he was my favorite. And now he's dead. Rest in peace, poor soul. Oh. I won't forget you, friend. Oh god, your face. What's wrong with your face? We don't look like that, sir. Okay, right. Well, um, let's jump through the roof and keep going. We jump. Ow, oh, lovely. Oh, I forget. I need to actually lower my maximum HP. So the game crashed three times, which means I need to now set my maximum HP to 85. Okay, so we're ready off to a pretty poor quality start. So I have to open up my console and I have to select player set health 85. This is going to set my new maximum health to 85, um, uh, which means, you know, we're more vulnerable to damage, but that's okay. Right. Hamming, you've got to get over here, boy. Come on. There you go. Watch out. There's Aldwin over there. And he's grumpy. Right, let's get out of here, Hadvar. Goodbye, Alduin, you scary man. Right, we've got to stay close to this wall as poor man in front of me that just materialized is about to die. Rest in peace. Alduin is spooky. Poor guy. Oh, I've taken a little bit more damage. That is bad. Still no bugs. This is good. This is actually really good. This is some clean gameplay. Right, let me quickly get out of here because there's a grumpy dragon. It takes a lot to kill a monster. A lot more than just arrows, except in the time when it does actually... Ow! He aimed me with fire! Ow! That's actually really painful. Jeez. Right, Right, okay, I've got to run. Oh no, that man just died. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna go with Rayloff. Everyone knows that's a bad idea. Phew, okay, I just accidentally backwalked into Helgen. Right, we made it, Hadvar. We made it. Okay, so from here on out, I've now got to escape the keep, find an Elder Scroll, kill multiple dragons. We just have to defeat the entire game, Hadvar. Together. Together, Hadvar. Okay, there's a light helmet, some gold. Nice, nice, nice. And I'll grab an iron sword, as well as this wooden chest. All right, lovely. So we've got a bunch of equipment now. Let's actually equip our character. All right, I'm going to uh, dual wield these swords. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, and I have encountered what might be a bug or a glitch. I can't use my mouse to select any of these menu options. I have have to use WAS and D, but I don't think that's a bug. I think that must be intentional Todd Howard wisdom design because he wants to make the game more immersive and by that slightly more challenging and annoying. Right, come on, let's go Hadvar. We're on a journey together forever. Okay, and if we go up into our lovely skill tree, we can see that yes, our maximum HP is set to 85. Yep, that is all we get to work with for the moment. Of course, when we level up, we can sink some more points into it, but um, for the moment, we can't. Right. There's some storm cloaks over here. Maybe we can reason with them. You know you can't reason with storm cloaks. Everyone knows that. Right, there we go. We found them. It's time for some of that riveting Skyrim combat. Let's go. Press mouse two to block. Uh, I can't do that, Todd. I'm dual wielding. Right, come on. Hit him, Todd. Yes, they're dead. Right, die, storm cloak soldier. Oh, Hadvar. Wow. What riveting combat. We did it. Okay, we actually killed our first set of enemies. You know what? I'm gonna grab that iron warhammer. Why not? They're really high damage. And also some fur gauntlet. 
gauntlets. I don't have any gauntlets. Right, switching over to that iron warhammer, popping on my fluffy gauntlets, and yep, I am looking good. Oh, we are looking ready. Nord Nordinson, he's beautiful. <laughs> All of his lovely pixels. Oh, watch out for that. Into the little storeroom we go. What do we got in here? More storm cloaks. Right, um, let's hit him with my giant hammer. Ow, my stamina's low. But anyway, hey, one hit was good. One hit was really good. Oh, and I actually killed a man. Right, bam. Oh, and I got a good hit on him. He's got a nice hit on me, but hit him with another one. Right, and then we block. There we go. Oh, we, yeah, lovely. Now that's, that's combat. All right, come on, Hadvar, let's go. Oh, Hadvar. Okay, I, I saw what you did with that door. Hadvar, I'm sorry, but that is definitely a glitch. Oh, my health, Hadvar. Okay, right, well, that's uh, that's glitch number four. So, set TV, maximum health, it's down to 80. Hadvar, I hate you. <laughs> okay, less health for me. All right, into the torture room we go, uh, where there's some torturing happening. Let's kill that Stormcloak soldier. Bam, you're dead. Let's kill this Stormcloak soldier. They're dead as well. Wonderful. And I got some experience as well. Lovely jubbly. Because I'm not becoming a wizard. It is not the Nord way to be a wizard. Everyone knows the true Nord just simply sticks to hitting stuff with a big stick. Anyway, I'm going to continue on with our adventure. We've got to escape. Hadvar, please catch up to me at some point. Now is not the time to be dilly-dallying. You somehow gave me 12 lockpicks despite me being all the way over here, but I appreciate it nonetheless, Hadvar. All right, in here it should be a bunch of storm cloaks. Um, yep, there they are. Some of them have literally just materialized in front of me. In fact, there are meant to be archers over there, but they're not even able to render in because I've set the graphic. They're arrows, cat, I guess. <laughs> Right, there you go. You die, and you die. Yes, Nord Nordinson. We're Nording so hard right now. All right, so we've got some archers over there. Let me just quickly run my way over. Introduce them to my Nording time. Ow, don't hit me with your arrows. I'm not built for arrows. All right, bomb. Keep on bumping. Keep bumping. Keep bumping. Yeah, there we go. Nice power attack. Nice power attack. Yeah, you take out that bow and arrow. Let's see what that does to you. Yes! Oh, our first cinematic kill. Wonderful. We just introduced him to the ground. Splendid stuff. That was a lovely success. All right, onwards we go with our adventuring. Let's use this lever. Whoop! Tot! Tot! Whoop! Tot! What is this about? Let me use the lever. Whoop! Tot! Tot! Todd, what is going on? Todd, Todd. Okay, uh, Todd, that's going onto the list. Phasing through the floor and reality is not allowed, Todd. Okay. Todd, I now have to lose more health. Todd, we're, we're five glitches in and I haven't even left Helgen yet. I'm down to 75 life, for goodness sake, Todd. Now let's continue on with our adventure. Provided I can get some levels in, we should be okay. Or we'll be fine. So I'm just going to pass some time. Can I do that? Okay, over there is a bear, um, which I guess I can and kill. You know what, I might as well. I, I should try and kill the bear um, when it renders in. There we go. There's the bear. I know what they look like. All right. Um, we should be able to kill the bear if the bear decides to stand on the floor, bear. Okay, this is one of the spare special Todd bears. <laughs> that is definitely one of the kill animations of all time. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, well the bear's dead. Uh, that was a success, I guess. We can now um, leave Helgen behind us. Oh, what a lovely journey. Right, to Skyrim we go. Look at this Play-Doh dragon. And out we are. Hadvar. Wonderful. Oh, wait. There goes Alduin. Evil dragon. Evil, evil dragon. Very naughty. But yes, wonderful. We've actually escaped, which means we're on to um, the kind of start of our story. From here on out, we now need to go over to Helgen and uh, then go into Bleak Falls Barrow. Right, so we're going to briefly go and grab those stones of power over here, and then we're going to probably go straight to Bleak Falls Barrow to grab the dragon stone, as there's not really much of a point of me skipping it. Right, I've made my way over to the sigil stones, I've grabbed up the warrior stone, and I guess I'm now on my way with Hadvar to Riverwood. And then after that, I'll be climbing climbing my way up into Bleak Falls Barrow. Although I suppose I can actually grab a follower first. Yeah, I can grab the uh, the Wood Elf Archer man. It'll be useful to have a companion as I go adventuring in there because otherwise it can get a smidge dangerous. Now, some of you might be complaining that I am playing on the lowest graphics possible. However, this is actually necessary because in the release build of Skyrim, if you play with any graphics higher than low, your game will just crash a lot more often. So, um, 
Yes, this is Todd Howard's actual vision to have the greatest visual and gaming experience possible. Anyway, I just killed some wolves, lovely. We're all getting kind of close to actually leveling up for the first time, which is good because then I'll be able to get some maximum health back. Imagine that, I could get up to a maximum health of, oh, 85. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? Anyway, lovely, I've made my way to Riverwood. What a wonderful location. Everyone's favorite spot because, you know, they accidentally kill a chicken and then the entirety of the human race is suddenly chasing them down for mass murder. But yes, it's good to be here. And ah, oh, here he is, Alvor. Hey Alvor, Hadvar said you could help. Anyway, Alvor wants me to go off to Whiterun, which I can do, but uh, first I'm gonna loot him for all of his stuff and then grab that Dragonstone. All right, carrots and beef, this is kind of useless, but the iron ingot, I'll nab, potions of healing, and the ring, why not? Thank you very much. Brilliant stuff. Oh, this steel shield appears to be clipped into a table. Alvor, I just lost five HP because you can't place a goddamn steel shield on the floor. All right. Health is now set to 70 because of this stupid shield clipping into the terrain. Oh dear. But anyway, I'm gonna speak to Sven about this whole Feindal thing. Gosh, Sven, your face is incredible. Right, so my current mission is to find Feindal and basically tell him about this letter and hopefully he should become a companion of mine. Anyway, Sven wanted me to deliver this letter to Camilla and say it was from you. Alright, so I will now give Camilla a letter and say it's from Sven. Brilliant stuff. This is exactly normal human behavior where we are just being horrible to everyone. Anyway, into the trade as we go. So Camilla, here is a letter. Uh, Camilla, I have a letter for you from Sven. Yes, he does. Right, so we've basically ruined Sven's chances of love and I think Feindel, uh, and that should make Feindel quite happy. Oh, and Feindel will even give me some gold for it. And I can say, hey, follow me, I need your help. And there we go, it is as easy as that. I just helped him on his quest for love and he is now here to assist. I mean, technically from this point on, we can be very cheeky. We can pay him to train us an archery and then we can just take the gold that we pay him out of his own pockets uh, however I will not be abusing that exploit Todd did not want me to and so I will choose to ignore that it exists you think I'm fuzzy what's wrong with me look I'm sorry it's the low graphics quality I can't control it anyway I'm going to grab Feindel and we're going to go on an adventure up to Bleak Falls Barrow that's right it's Nord adventuring time Feindel where are you Ah, oh, there you are, you're just slow. Fender, why do you have so many problems just navigating basic terrain features? I mean, it's, I guess, this is all stuff that got eventually patched and altered from Todd's divine vision. Die wolf, ah, lovely. Good thumping and <gasps> level up. We leveled up, Fender. Fender, I leveled up. You know what that means? I might be at 70 health now, but I can increase it. I can increase it, I'm up to 80 health. Feindel, yes! Right, and Bleak Falls Barrow is just over there, and I think inside this building there's some bandits who we might as well murder because they're additional experience, and I need to test out my new ability to do some thumping. So, whoop a thump and another thump. All right, let's get looting. Seven gold, thank you very much. That's all I need. Right over here we go. Oh, there's a man with a bow and arrow. Thump, you're dead. Oh, there we go, and our light armor increased as well. Good stuff at, oh, big thump. That was a nice bonk. Such an iconic area in Skyrim, truly magnificent. And even on the lowest graphical settings, this place looks amazing. Now, that's what you call art design. Anyway, up here I go. Where are the enemies? There is one. Ah, oh, you've got an ax, I've got a hammer. Mine is better. Oh, and there's a bandit. What pump? Our punch. There is now an arrow sticking out to me, but that's okay. I'm sure it will just fall off eventually. Wait, there's another enemy actually. Quick over I go. Feindel, shoot them. Shoot him, Feindel. Good job, Feindel. You're injuring him. Oh, you've got him, Feindel. Oh, now that's the kind of team play you like to see. Well done, Feindel. And right, so into the temple we go. I've increased the act of fade distance. Hopefully it won't crash the game. Uh, but now we can see those bandits over there. They don't just materialize out of thin air. All right, let us um, go and waltz our way over there with a little bit of sneaking. Okay, and uh, we've been detected. What punch? What punch? There we go. We're doing good. And run, 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 and swing, and swing. Lovely stuff. We are making some good swift progress. Come on, Feindel. Haven't got time for slow coaches, my friend. We've got a game to beat. Oh, here's a bandit about to activate the lever. You know what? You go do it, friend. What's the worst that could happen? I believe in you. You pull that switch. Feindel, no! Feindel! He's pulling the lever, Feindel. He's going to die anyway. You didn't have to do that, Feindel. Now he's not dead. Right, okay. Let's murder him. And he's dead now. That was a good fud. Right, now I'm going to have to go through this trap. And Feindel does have to follow me. And I'm hoping he doesn't trigger this trap. So, Feindel, please... Keep an eye out for that trap. Vandal! You 
idiot, Feindle. You absolute idiot. Right, you can give this another go. Give this another go. Come on over. Come on over, Feindle. Don't set off the trap. Feindle! Zero brain cells. Bless you, Feindle. Bless you. If at first you don't succeed, step on the trap again and again. 90% certain that's an enemy. Yep, you're dead. And oh, I leveled up. I've leveled up. I've leveled up. Yes, we did it, Feindle. Right, so um, I won't lie, Feindle. I don't have the most health. So I'm going to say, hey, I need you to do something, Feindle. Feindle, I'm going to need you to walk through the axes and activate that chain there for me. Please, friend. That would be wonderful. I believe in you, Feindle. Uh, you might want to run through or you can walk too. That works too. Feindle, come on. Your job is pretty simple. Pull the lever, Feindle. Feindle, Feindle, pull the lever. Feindle, stop carrying on the floor like an idiot. Oh, Feindle's gone now. Uh, I hope he comes back, Feindle. All right, let's run through. Oh, I can just walk through it. Well, um, I don't know where Feindle's gone. He's he's kind of left our plane of existence. So, annoyingly, I do have to lose some health there. That's another Skyrim feature. So, my health now goes down to 85. Okay. Oh, and here's a wrestler's Droga. Okay, so this is actually meant to be one of the more challenging fights. But I will do my best to just hammer away at him. And there we go. He is dead. Wonderful. And I can wait for some time to pass. And is Feindle back? Feindle's back, baby. Hey, Feindle. Still here. It's nice to know you're still here. Feindle, you're such a supportive little guy. Right, into the Bleakfall Sanctum we go. Once again, another set of dangerous things. Feindle, let me activate this. There you go. You're safe now, Feindle. And uh, just some zombies to clean up. There we go. And the game crashed. Great. Back in the boat. Right, well, uh, the game crashed, so that means set AV health aid zero. Yep, this is going to make fighting uh, the actual boss of this area relatively challenging. But hey, the game crashed. Uh, there's literally uh, nothing I can do to stop it. But yes, Feindle and I will continue our journey. Todd, if only that hadn't happened, we would be in a very, very strong place right now. Anyway, quickly run through here, activate the chain so Feindle doesn't die, and uh, let's kill my way through all of these zombies. There we go. Oh, we're also getting close to leveling up. There we go. We're up to level 34. Ow, how could you hit me from there? Jeez, okay, my health is actually getting relatively low, but I'll be swift and good job, Nordinson. Lovely. Right, we are very close. All right, into the sanctum we go. We have got a wonderful fight ahead of ourselves. Would you look at that? I know, Feindel. It's glorious. It's a word wall. Oh, and that's a stream. Ah, no, I don't want to fall. I do not want to fall. All right, let's go um, absorb a word. Yes, for I am the Doverkin, and I will learn Fus. Oh, and here comes our evil big boy. Anyway, I can hit you with a big attack. Yes, and oh, easy peasy lemon squeezed. You are dead. Off we go. Right, off we go to White Run. Let us jiggle our way over there um, via jumping. Oh, there's an animal in front of me. Come on, let me get it with a great sword. Why can't I hunt a deer with a giant great sword? That's that's not accurate. Oh, wow, look at that deer just go away. What a magical little being. No, there's a wolf over there, Mr. Deer. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, it's fine. He can't aggro for some reason. And there's Whiterun in front of us. Look at that wonderful place. Yeah, it's going to be nice to get back over there. It's been far too long since I visited. Oh, and I can hear some wolves. Oh, Feindel can see him. Where's this wolf, Feindel? Where's the wolf? He's aggroed onto us, but he doesn't quite know where to go. And there's a man on the road. Watch out, random man. Random man, you've got him. Actually, we can do it together. Ah, oh, it's... Towersgar, the Wanderer. But yes, we've made our way to Whiterun. Look at it in all of its lovely play doh -y glory. And the Khajiita here. And here are the horses. Oh, horses in the release build of Skyrim. Oh, you guys were so balanced. How much gold do I have? 899. How much is a horse? 1,000. Okay, well... Skullvar, um, I'll save up some money and then I'm getting a horse because a horse could be incredibly good. Okay, God, please open the door, please. Come on, unlock, unlock it using magical powers. There we go, it's open, wonderful. Okay, I want to check something, but let me double check. So if I walk into this wall here, do I, yep, okay, I just go into the map. Right. <laughs> Damn it, Todd! Oh, it works in this game as well, of course it does. Right, let me quickly call, let me up, me free. Right, Todd, apparently that feature works in all versions of Skyrim, so it is time for me to lower my HP down to 75. Woo! Life is suffering. Anyway, let's go deliver this Dragonstone. Goodness, I'm so excited to unlock the full Fuss Radar, because in this version of the game, it can send the physics engine crazy. Anyway, right, let's go have a chat to the Jarl. Hello, Irolef. Oh, hello, Jarl Balgruf. I did. I saw the dragon. Yarl Balgriff is about to ask me to go click the dragon stone. But hey, I'm one step ahead of you, Yarl Ballin. All right, hit me with them details. Oh, you want the dragon stone. Oh, well, it doesn't happen to be this old stone. 
<laughs> yes, I'm cut from a different cloth. I'm Nord Nordinson, the greatest Nord that ever Norded. Oh, what about my reward? Yes, I would like my gold. Pay me, pay me because I'm so glorious. Why are the children in this meeting about a dragon attacking the city? What are you doing here, boy? Boy, why do you teleport? The boy can teleport. Okay, that's a Todd feature. God damn it. <laughs> it's okay. Health is now down to 70 because the child can warp between realities. Okay, so I now have to go and fight a dragon with at maximum 70 health. Oh, dear. Right, let's go fight a dragon. Right, it's time for me to kill a dragon. That's right, it's our first little dragon. Come on over, Fendel. We've got some murdering to do. Hello, Irolef. We're all here now. Let's go and fight a dragon. Let's figure out what happened. We need to know what that dragon is. Oh, there was a glitch. Irolef was talking twice. I heard you. The voice lines duplicated. Irolef, you can't lie to me. Great. Well, <laughs> that's, that's another glitch. Literally right away. Okay, that's exactly what you love to see. So that means my health is going down another five. Down to 65. Okay. Hopefully we should be on track for a level up soon enough. Otherwise, um, Irolef, you are going to be the death of me. Okay, right. Dragon. Hopefully a nice glitch dragon fight. That's what I'm looking for. Nothing too crazy. Right, here comes our dragon. Ah, look at him. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, it's been so long since I've fought a dragon in Skyrim. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Just drop down a quick save uh, because you never know when the game's going to crash. Right. Okay. Hello, dragon friend. Please fly around and get shot at by people. Yes. Yes. Right. Oh, you're going to stand there. Fain, don't do what you need to do. I will try and lightning zap the dragon. Come down, dragon. Land for me, you coward. I can't lightning zap you up there. Right. There we go. Fantastic. I can lightning zap you here. Lightning zap. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Oh my goodness, you do do a lot of damage. But here we go, we'll get our sparks in. Fendor, you best be attacking, my friend. All right, quickly pop a healy potion. There we go, one quick heal complete. Fly around, Mirmonir. Ah, yes, you're going to land for me. Thank you. But let me try and get a big hit in, actually, with our great sword. Okay, come on, power attack. Good power attack, good power attack, good power attack, good power attack. Yes, two-handed level up. Right, big power attack. Nice. Oh my goodness, we even got a level up in, right? A little bit more lightning damage. We'll get him yet. Get some one-handed hits in. Come on, murder him. Murder him, he's almost dead. Oh, we've done it. We killed the dragon. Wonderful. Oh, and there were no glitches. And we even leveled up, so I get 10 HP back. Let us absorb the dragon soul. Yummy, 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 yummy dragon soul. Mmm. Tasty, Feindel. Very tasty. Wonderful. Right, immediately let's sink our upgrade points into health. So my health now goes back up to 75. Oh, this is wonderful. Fantastic. We did it. Irolef, I absorbed a dragon. Are you not proud of me? Who's this single man running over here? Why, on God, were you late to the party, friend? We were fighting a dragon, for goodness sake. A dragon, I tell you. Oh, you're the dragonborn. What do you mean? You absorbed the dragon's power. Why, on God, how would you be aware of that? I, I absorbed it over here and you were like in a different postal code. Right, well, that was successful. So I'm going to go back to Whiterun and get myself my lovely reward. And then after that, in order to progress the main quest as fast as possible, we're going to be making our way over to the High Elf Embassy, as that's going to allow us to basically bypass all of the nonsense up there with the Greybeards. Oh, speaking of which, they have just shouted for me to go and say hello to them. Yep, that was nice and uh, loud. And hello, y'all. Was the dragon there? Yep, I did. We killed it. And it turns out I am the dragonborn. So yes, the gray bits want me. Wonderful. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? <laughs> And if there's Nord nonsense, prevent us. I'm Nord Nordinson. Jeez, come on. I am the Dragonborn. It's time for me to fast travel. Now, um, there is a chance that the fast traveling breaks down because the original release build of Skyrim had a memory leak that for some reason got 7,000 times worse if you use the uh, carriage. But that's fine. Uh, I'm sure it's going to work out great. So please take me to solitude. Bjolum, I... Bjolum, my life is in your hands. And by that, I mean my potential max HP. And we made it without the game crashing. Bjorlum, it's a Christmas miracle, my friend. Oh, oh, you're not Bjorlum anymore. You're the man who sounds identical to Bjorlum, but isn't Bjorlum. Oh, these carriage drivers. Anyway, I need to find one little item before I make my way up to the Falmore Embassy. Damn it, Skyrim! <laughs> That's okay. It's going okay. Everything's fine. 
I just know that all of the boss fights are gonna get progressively harder and harder, and that there's not really much point of being able to reach the final section of the game if you're still gonna get murdered by the dragon in one hit. Still, right, I've gotta drop my HP, so I was 75, so player dot set a v 70. Right, down we go into the pits, all of the low quantities of health, exactly what I wanted. Right, so, oh, and of course, yes, it's the execution. Oh, Uncle Rogvir, no, it's getting executed. On this day, I go to Sovereign God. Sorry, Rogvir, I've been there before, you're not there. Goodbye. <laughs> Could I have a... Oh, nice head. Oh, there's a little amulet of Talos. I can uh, take that. Yoink. Well, that was indeed one of the executions of all time. Are we just all going to stand around here now? Nope, nope, we've remembered that there's life to do. Anyway, I can now equip that lovely Talos amulet. That means I can now shout more. Right, let me quickly wait for this shop to open up. All right, bits and pieces. Hopefully you've got exactly the thing I need. And the thing I'm looking for is uh, literally just a plate. Oh, they have it. Wooden plate. Here we go. Free gold value. You. Yoink, you're gonna help me beat the game, friend. I drop down a quick save. This is good. The wooden plate is one of the strongest weapons in the entirety of Skyrim. Now, I am aware that effectively in order to bypass a large chunk of the main story, I'm gonna have to do one exploit. However, I think losing life to one exploit is better than potentially doing a bunch of other quests and running into far more bugs and glitches. So yes, this is a sacrifice that needed to be done. It had to be this way. Anyway, goodbye Wolfie, you were just very immediately cooked blended stuff and it crashed god damn it skyrim more life lost right i've done some more research and it turns out that a memory leak is triggered when you fast travel at any point in this early version of the game so uh we are now no longer able to fast travel or use the carriage because of several minutes after doing so the game will end anyway right i need to lower my hp once again even lower play dot set av health we are back down to 65. Oh my goodness, this means in order for me to do the Falmore Embassy glitch, I'm gonna have to go down to 60 life. We are pulling exceedingly close to less than- No, game, no! God damn it! Don't! This can't be it, please. We can't just be on an endless chain of crashing now. Right, once again, we continue. Once again, we lower our life even further down to 60 HP. Player.set AV health 60. Okay, this is all the life we get to work with. I will drop down this save and I will run off into the distance and I will live. I choose life. All right, so I'm going to set our life now down to 55. Player.set AV health 55. There we go. Okay, we are definitely losing life. We're almost halfway there and I will now attempt to fast travel as means to reset whatever is in the environment causing a crash because there's a chance it's some kind of like weird creature spawning in some kind of wolf whatever it is in that instance it was causing the game to crash so we're gonna give this another go come on game i believe in us we just gotta get past this gate was it because i was running is running the issue let me put my weapon away and just walk that's what we'll do we'll just gently jog yes my new superstition is walking has <laughs> been the main cause <laughs> right go just stick to the road stick the road. Okay, this is where we previously were crashing, so progress indeed. We may yet live. Okay, right. Well, um, that appears to have fixed our problem. Absolutely brilliant. All right, let us just do it. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah, crash. Okay, there is something up on that road that is causing the crash to trigger, and so my plan is to just bypass it using a mixture of two things. Number one, I'm going to lower the act of fade-in and object fade-in. This way, things have to actually be be closer to me in order to be rendered, which I think might fix that issue. At the same time, I am going to have to lower my health now down to 50. That's right, we are now down to half the starting life total. And action number three is very simple. I am going to attempt to fly past my problems using the age-old method of wooden bucket. Down over here in Cutler's farm is a very big, heavy wooden bucket. Here it is. It's uh, completely fine to just be taken away, and that's exactly what we will do. We will take this bucket. Right, so I'll drop down a quick save, and now my plan is to try and fly up that mountain. Now, I'm not too sure how effective this is going to be, but step one is to place bucket on ground, and the game's crashed. <laughs> oh, God! Todd! Why? Okay, right. 
I have modified the game even further to lower the object draw distance and just basically strip the game of any quantity of objects rendering in because I think that's our major issue here. Some kind of weird physics bug going on. So yeah, objects are now on the lowest draw render possible and our health is now down to 45. But before I set my health down to 45, I'm going to attempt to do the bucket shenanigans. So I will just drop the bucket on the floor. Fantastic. And if I stand in the bucket, um, I should be able to hold onto the bucket. Come on, knock over the bucket. Okay, it appears uh, because of the settings of the game I'm on, the physics aren't actually enabled for the bucket, which means I can't even bucket fly. I can't bucket fly. What's the point of having a bucket if I can't fly with it? Right, let me drop it. Come on, physics work. Okay, nope, the game actually refuses to bucket fly because of the incredible low settings I'm playing on. Right, anyway, let's uh, lower the health to 45. There we go. Drop down our save and let's make our way up to the Falmor Embassy once more. Hopefully we make it up the road. <laughs> oh my goodness. In the very least, it's going to make it easier to work out which spots we have to avoid. I mean, we should hopefully be able to make it up to that wolf again is my hope. So, um, yep, yeah, let's give it a try. We can make our way up and look, we don't even need health. 45 health's enough to beat the game, right? Right? I'm sure the final boss doesn't hit for more than two Two damage? Yes? Please? Please don't. Oh god. Right, so here's the wolf. Yep, it materializes in front of us and dies. And oh no. That's quite like a tenth of my health points. Well, that's a problem. Let's drop down a save. We are now past the wolf. That is progress. Up the hill we go. Up the hill. Up the hill. I'm wondering if I have to raise the uh, game settings in order to let me use the plate glitch to get through the wall. I mean, there's a chance the wall just won't even render, so I suppose that helps. Oh. God damn it, it crashed. We're down to 40 life. We're down to 40 life. All right, welcome, friends. Um, our health is now going down to 40. That's now our new maximum health pool, and I'm going to try and make my way up the mountain without going over there and triggering in the spawn in that is, for some reason, crashing my game. So, yep, I'm now trying to find another way up the solitude mountainscape. Uh, actually, wait, I know a way to do this. Oh, my goodness, of course. There's the simplest and easiest way to do all of this. With a horse. Yep, this actually makes brilliant sense. Okay, we're fast traveling. I know I said we wouldn't fast travel because this was a dangerous and terrible idea, but we actually need to go and get ourselves a horse. So first things first, we make our way over to the White Run stables, and then hello, Skovar. Skovar, I need to buy a horse from you. Here you go. Here's a thousand gold. That is literally all of my money. And um, yes, here is my horse, Nord Nordinson's horse. On we go. Wonderful. It's a beautiful horse. He's a majestic boy. And come on, let me let me out of here. Let me out. There we go. Wonderful. Blended. Okay, we are now going to fast travel our way right back over to Solitude. And now, using creative horse physics, let me drop down a save. I'm hoping we should hopefully be able to deal with any mountain. All right, so over here we go up onto the road where we fought the wolf and now we are going to begin Operation Horse Physic by mounting the mountain. Okay, we just went through the mountain. Todd, hang on a second, Todd. No, it wasn't meant to be like that. Oh God, okay. Right, we're definitely gonna be losing uh, some life for this one. This is uh, not normal. Okay, up we go, Todd, up de woo. Jeez, horses are so much more powerful in the base game than they are in the current edition. Look at these guys go. Vertical cliff space. No problemo. Physical walls, also no problem. These guys are incredible. Right, up we go. And ladies and gentlemen, in front of us now, it's the Falmore Embassy. Do, 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 ba, do, do. We made it. You know what? I don't even know if we need the plate glitch. Let's just see if the horse works. Right, come on, horsey. Do your thing. Make the walls useless. Actually, we might even be able just to jump it. Okay, horsey, can you jump the wall? Let's see if you can. Do, 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 do. And jump. Oh, you kind of can. Jump. Come on, horsey, jump. Yes, horsey, jump. Jump for victory, horsey. Oh my goodness. This actually feels like we're making it. Hang on a second. Horsey, yes. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. This is actually amazing. Yes, horsey, yes. Wait, why is the wall solid? All right, okay, apparently this wall is uh, solid here. So, um, horsey, we're just gonna continue doing some wiggling over here. And hopefully the next wall we run into isn't a solid object. Um, 
Come on, horse. Up we go. Scale the skies. The metaphysical limitations of the universe have never stopped us before. Okay, maybe if I go around to the front gate, it's going to let me in. Right, can we clip up into the wall? Oh my, that, that kind of worked. Something's going on here. Come on, horsey. Come on, horsey. New physics. New physics are being unlocked. New potential physical movements. Right, okay, up onto the roof. Up onto the roof. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Okay. Game, look, come on. You want to let me in. I know you do. I know you do. Right, let's dismount the horse. Okay, and come on. Come on, just like this. Let me in. Okay, no, apparently not. I'm so close to being let in. Right, well, Horsey, you're incredible. I'm going to keep you here uh, because your physical abilities are insane. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to devolve to using a plate. However, of course, you did clip through the terrain here. And I am about to clip through the terrain again. Which means, in total, we have encountered two glitches. So that's not very good at all. Anyway, let's grab this lovely plate. Uh, hold it against the wall. Where's my plate gone? Come back, plate. Right, drop down my plate. Come on, let's... Let's do some physics, some quick physics. In we go, into the wall. Come on, let me in, Todd. Let me in. You know you want to. There's some Falmore over there. Hello, Falmore. Where's my plate gone? Falmore, where's my plate gone? Oh, no. No, Todd, you've taken my plate away. Todd, no. And run. Come on. Run. Run. Come on, game. Todd, you can generally think it's because I'm playing on such a low level graphics quality. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, just needed to hit the right spot, it would seem. So after plate glitching my way into the Falmore Embassy, my plan was to, of course, uh, die repeatedly to the overpowered guards. This is all thanks to my health being super low because some guy couldn't finish a game. Eventually, I was able to steal the reports on the blades and the dragons. Now, this whole process is a very popular speedrunning strategy in Skyrim as it skips several slow missions. You don't have to meet the Greybeards. You don't have to introduce yourself to Delphine, you can skip all of that, grab these documents, and then go reform the blades. However, it seems that this speedrunning tactic does not work on the release build of the game, and was in fact added in later by the developers. Because instead of Delphine meeting me at her inn, she is instead trapped downstairs in an inaccessible basement that I can't even plate glitch my way into. And because I can't speak to her, I can't progress the quest and go meet Esburn. It's safe to say that Todd has managed to beat me. My one goal was to finish the game before all the crashes made it impossible, but in my attempt to speed past it, I have been punished by Todd and become hard locked out of the main quest entirely. You have bested me, Howard, you cruel master. Still, there's one thing I want to try before we finish. And that is to ride a dragon. Very simply, I'm going to uh, fast travel my way all the way over to Dawnstar. So there we go, Dawnstar discovered. Now I must head off in this direction in order to head to the Skyborn Altar, where, where we are about to partake in some shenanigans. Yes, yeah, so it's this giant mountain in front of us that we're going to try and scale, but if we've learned one thing about horses, it's that they're perfectly designed for vertical slopes. Oh, and there are some wolves on me. A quick run, horsey horse. They can be distracted by this building over here. Yes. Yes, come on, Vigilance of Stendar. Kill the wolves after me, please. Thank you very much. Those lovely Vigilance. Thank you. Alright, anyway, I'll just begin the uh, natural vertical ascent of the horse. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this super horse. What a wonderful thing it is indeed. Right, coming up, super horse. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Alright, fantastic. I've made my way all the way up here and you'll notice there's that lovely dragon head on the top of the screen. Yep, that is the altar where we are headed. Oh dear, I appear to be getting chased by a wolf. Well, luckily wolves can't follow me into the sky. Yes, there we go. Wolf, you have no power here. For I can fly. Alright, so this might take a couple of attempts, but just beneath us uh, is a dragon, and if we are able to land our horse successfully onto the dragon, then we should be able to go to space. So I will just quickly, oh dear, die. <laughs> Oh dear, that's a bit embarrassing. Right, let's give that another attempt. Right, quickly jump off and onto dragon. Nope, I missed the dragon. <laughs> okay, let's give that another try. Oh dear. Right, there we go. We've landed on the dragon. We died instantly. <laughs> Oh dear. Gently, there we go. Sneak up behind the dragon. Okay, now. Now we're in the spot for it. Right. Walk onto the dragon and yes! Yes, it's working! Fly, Todd! Fly, my pretty! We did it! We flew on a dragon! It's magical! 
so very magical. Ah, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The life of Nord Nordinson, the greatest Nord that ever Norded, has unfortunately come to an end. Because my one goal of attempting to beat the main quest of Skyrim, it turns out, is impossible. And with that, it turns out Todd Howard was wrong. Skyrim is not a perfectly balanced game with no exploits because it turns out 90% of the game doesn't even function at release. I am, of course, grateful for Todd for creating the greatest game that ever invented, but at the same time, please, Todd, it doesn't just work. It really doesn't. Wait, how am I still alive? It's a Christmas miracle! Okay, I take it back, Todd. It does work. I'm sorry for besmirching your name. Praise to Todd. Ladies and gentlemen in the comment section, please leave a message praising our Lord and Savior Todd so that one day Elder Scrolls VI might be released in our grandchildren's lifetime. And I'm afraid that's all for now. If you enjoyed today's video and hey, if you maybe want to see more adventures in the Skyrim release build, maybe even live, then give me a shout. A huge thank you for liking today's video, of course a massive thank you for being subscribed, and as always, the biggest of cheers to our lovely majestic sausages who are YouTube channel members and Patreons who are generously funding our wonderful exploits. As always, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day, and goodbye for now.